Hello from Prague again. Welcome to our channel and in today's vlog we're gonna take you along in our evening walk through Prague. We are going to H&M home. That's where I love to shop for design things and since we told you in our last video about housing, today we're gonna tell you where you can maybe buy some decoration stuff or stuff for your house in Czech Republic, especially in Prague. So in H&M you can find any type of things. I love this face. We're gonna put that in our house. Um, you can literally find anything. Candles, cushions. They have very beautiful pieces when it comes to baskets and cutlery and uh, plates and cups and yeah, rugs as well or beddings. And the quality is really great and the price is also very great. For example, this vase costs not even 400 crown. I don't know if it's that much. And yeah, it's definitely looking more expensive. So you can also buy these things online, but some of them are not on an online store. So it's just sure to come in person. section and my recommendation is even if you're looking for tablecloth or something for your bathroom uh, their linen stuff is absolutely amazing it's a super good quality for a very good price for example this pillowcase case is only 350 crown and it's real linen so for linen stuff it's perfect here they also have some baskets they have body mats they have um, some stuff for the bedroom as well so yeah this is the second So we just left H&M, so we have other shops where you can actually buy stuff for decorating. For example, XXL Lutz, they have like really nice high quality stuff. Even when you go into the shop, it's really, really good. And we've also got IKEA, where we've done a vlog. And that was also okay, it's just the same as every other IKEA in the world. Zara also has some home stuff, although in Czech you find, I think there's only one or two stores, I think two stores in Czech and they don't have everything, so it's more online. Yeah, overall I think the experience of shopping decorations in Czech uh, compared to other countries especially US and UK where there is obviously more market I guess Yeah, we're market. a little bit behind, right? We are yeah. so behind Like everything what I see, uh, especially in YouTube vlogs is usually much more ahead and we have it arriving one year behind. I think we mentioned it in the video as well. So now we're gonna go to our next place for a nice little quick snack. After all this. That's not snack. <laughs> <laughs> you can make the decision once you see it. <laughs> it's sugar. It's sugar, yeah. <laughs> ask me what's my favorite building in the Prague in Czech Republic it's probably this one and it's called Obecny Dum and it's a public municipal house and inside you have a cafe and then you also got a gallery from a Czech artist who's called Alphonse Mucha and then on the top you also have like a really nice drawing and it's a Art Nouveau building it's really cool I like it
wow how cute is that cafe i love it so you have the people who are making the cakes in the background they are like really really specific everything is just clean and they have such colorful cakes on display it's just amazing so i went for an eclair Ta -da! that looks just popping but you have a, a bit of like a chocolate some fruits and it's supposed to be spicy and my first this bite That gives you a smile on your face. That is really, really good. So, we have this strong, sweet flavor. It's like a bit of mascarpone with a little hint of herbs. I think, I don't know if you ever tried Bekarovka. It's a chicken drink. It's like, it's slowly, it's slightly hints that, but it's really refreshing cake. And it's got a lot of herbal taste. It's really nice and really refreshing, especially for a summer day like today, it's really good. And then they also gave me a coffee with a beautiful, beautiful latte art of a swan. That is a good coffee. Um, it's not as acidic as I like it, but it's neutral. It's um, it's a cappuccino, so it's not. It doesn't have that kick, um, but it's also a really good coffee. So yeah, that's very good. Now I'm gonna continue eating my cake. or I am hungry it's getting late and we didn't have dinner yet so I was thinking again try this place it's called Vokin and it's a noodle place where you can mix it based on your preferences which I like and it's quick which I also like the prices are average for Prague I think it's gonna be around 200 crown mm. but we just want to test it and it's getting also late so I think that's gonna be our last stop yeah I had cake so is that is cake not dinner? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't have cake. Yeah. Yes. So we will see. And the weather is really, really hot today. Hot and humid. Yeah, it's actually the hottest day for this it's summer. It's the hottest day. Yeah, I think so. And right now it's what time? Seven o'clock? Yeah, seven o'clock. Seven yeah. o'clock and it's pretty hot. Pretty hot. There's the no air movement whatsoever. And the town is really full. So it's nice to see Prague back and uh, yeah, it's a real summer in Prague. I like it. So yeah, like exactly. It. Time goes fast, but yet so slow. I leave all thoughts, yeah, I let them go. Cause I'm here with you. So you can combine your own. Okay, this is not mine. Do I taste yours? Okay, you can taste mine. Okay, I'll taste yours. So what did you get, duck? Duck with duck. udon noodles. Okay, really fresh ingredients. Everything we chose there, it's udon noodles. And I'm just gonna grab whatever is here. It's a little bit spicy. Can you handle spicy though? I'll see. Mmm. Mm. There's so much flavor. Oh my goodness, I love it. Mm. You can tell the ingredients are super fresh. The pasta is fresh. <coughs> it's spicy. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's spicy. But I went for medium spicy though. It's nice. This is good food.
with my favorite iced tea from Bagetteria Boulevard, which is just down the road. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this type of content, you can follow us or subscribe, or even like this video or leave a comment down below. And we will see you next time. So bye! Ciao!